Okay. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Gugu afternoon. Such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. So here is the ceviche I made last night, and some friend would like to see、uh, a demo of how I make it. So I will do do it. So here is the shrimp. I boiled it, and、um, I will need some tomato, cucumber, and this is、uh, the capsicum or. Jalapeno from the backyard.、So、one friend asked if it is、uh, hot or not. If you plant some of these, or if you eat some, buy some jalapeno, you know, it's kind of a, a hit or miss. Sometimes there is a kind of a percentage out of one hundred. There is two、uh, percent、uh, hot, and you get to the hot. It is super hot. Usually, they are not so hot for this particular kind, but、uh, I I am、uh, I am ready for a surprise. So these are the vegetables. You can put some other vegetable if you like. I have some、uh, celery. Why not? Right? We can put some celery and、uh, onion, cilantro. And lime, and salt, pepper, and the greetings. These are greetings.、Um, it's mostly、um, cumin seed and the mustard seed. I just want to use use this yellow lady chin to say hello. This is pepper, salt. So let's get started. I have already cleaned. The, the onion, so just cut it roughly. At the same time, okay. Let's get start. So here,、uh, this this is the shrimp I bought from Costco. It's less expensive, and.、Uh, And、uh, they are tail off, skin off, so it's relatively easy. And、uh, you can use however much you like. So I will use one handful of it. So we bring the water. We bring the water to a boil, and at the same time we put salt, pepper, and spice. So I will use some、uh, sel, the gehand. This is、uh, gray salt, the French gray salt, and I will not cheat. I have this.、Uh, Montreal steak seasoning, and I always want to get rid of it because、uh, there are just too many, too much. Put、uh, a big spoonful of it, and it takes care almost every taste of it. If you like some pepper, put some pepper. Even if you do not put pepper. That steak sauce, the steak spice is already good enough. Now, time to say hello, hello, Piper. Bye bye. Hello, salt. Bye bye. Cumin seed. Hello. Bye bye. Mustard seed. Hello. Bye bye. And bring this to the boiling water until it is boiling. It should be good. You can cover it up. 
At the same time, we are going to prepare our, our vegetables. I will not stop the video so that you can see how many minutes it really takes. I like to do this kind of uh, real time things. A lot of time we see the beautiful edited uh, video and things so easy, but it may not be real time. So I want to make it real time. So we put uh, celery, tomato. Are you seeing what I am doing? Okay, celery. Oh, sorry. Tomato. And at the same time, I am not a master chef. I do not have sous chef with me. So everything I do by myself. Nature. And we put some cucumber. Let me see if we can do it. And some cilantro. The water is not yet boiling. Now let's start to blend. This will be very, very noisy. I will uh, stop the video and, uh, and lower the sound. Okay. Okay. Oh, this one we have not yet put in. I will put just a little bit. Who knows? We are ready for a happy surprise or maybe not so happy surprise okay i will start to blend no i can smell my hand tomato one more tomato tomato has a lot of juice so that will bring a lot of uh, liquid in this. We do not have a, a complicated machine. I hope you are better than mine. And that is enough. A little bit, still a little bit chunky, but uh, it's more, um, it's more softer than I, uh, it's more meshy mushy then i want okay let's take a look at our shrimp it is boiling for sure are we sure yes we are sure so this is boiling we can save energy by stopping the fire and leave it in the hot water for some time Okay, that is it. There is salt, there is a spice, and the water is boiling water. So um, this way it does not have too strong fire. It's just the water hot. The cooking is still going on because it's not cold. If you take it out into cold water, then the cuisson, then the cooking will stop immediately. Now we do not want to stop the cooking. You can cover it or not cover. That does not make a huge difference. Okay, so that's about it. Now I will put this into a container and put the shrimp in. That's a lot. Where do I put it? Okay. To make sure that uh, it is hot enough, it is tasty enough, I have some um, uh, hot sauce on the side. Sometimes we go to uh, a fast food and uh, have some of this sauce. This is the time to use them. 
Okay, now I take this one out. I actually do not need to put into this bowl. I can just directly put here. Oh, let's just be comfortable. This way we can see how it is going. Okay, so these are our shrimps. And then you can taste it if it is good or not. This is not a very, very refined meal. It's, a, it's kind of something simple and easy. You can add some uh, pepper sauce. You can add some chili sauce. You can add some Tabasco. You can add some tomato ketchup. Anything of your choice. I will put into refrigerator and cover it up. And one of the good things is you put into a bottle, I just wash it, not yet totally dried up. If you have just the right amount, put in a bottle or put into a plastic container like yesterday. Yesterday I used a different blender, my little blender, so there is still some chunky part. You do want to have some texture in your mouth, so this should be good. And this is already quite blended, so it has a, a good flavor, every flavor goes into it. And, um, and you want to cut some of the, the cilantro or something to make it, uh, to make it uh, a better uh, texture of it. That's about it, just that simple. Leave it uh, a couple of hours, leave it for some time, that will be good. Bye bye. Oh, I forgot. How can I forget this? The most important thing, lime. Oh, I cannot forget that one. Okay, that is a lime. Mm, immediately the fragrance come out. Bon appetito, see you later, alligator.